This is a meal for my flock of 30 birds. Yes, 30 birds. It's a nice hot summer's day and I wanted to make them something nice. Well, perfect for a nice hot summer day. And I wanted to share with you so that you can make it for your birds. The first ingredient that I use are radishes. They are a rich source of magnesium, potassium, and vitamin C. I do put them in my chopper to chop them up small as I have a lot of small birds and I want them to get a taste of everything that I offer them. I then add in some cauliflower. It's high in vitamin C and K and it's fat free and it's delicious as well. It also goes into my chopper to chop it up in small pieces. The third ingredient is sweet baby broccoli. My birds love this. It's a great source of fiber, protein, and minerals like potassium and iron. It also goes into my chopper and it makes the, well, the chop look very colorful and tasty. Next ingredient is yellow zucchini summer squash. My birds really love squash. The squash is rich in manganese and vitamin A and it's delicious and it brings a nice yellow color for summer and my birds just absolutely love zucchini. Next ingredient is Brussels sprouts. I just use two of them because when you chop them up it really makes a large amount of them. My birds love Brussels sprouts. They're a great uh, source of fiber and essential nutrients and they're loaded with antioxidants. I also put them on my chopper to chop them up small so that the birds can get a taste of everything. I then add carrots and parsnip, just one of each. Carrots are, you know, high in vitamin E and B vitamins like niacin and B6. And the parsnips, they have potassium, thiamine, and vitamin C, E, and K. And they're tasty, and my birds love them. These are put in my chopper as well. I then add a sweet potato. I do peel the sweet potatoes and I feed it to my birds raw. I then cut it up with a knife to make it smaller to fit into my chopper so that it can chop it up really small. And the birds do love the sweet potato. It is um, a rich source of vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, and antioxidants. I then add in yellow string beans. They're a pretty color for summertime and they also taste yummy. My birds love them. These are a great source of fiber and a source of uh, B vitamins like thiamine and niacin. And uh, I do put these in my chopper as well to chop them up small. And my birds really enjoy beans. This is curly parsley. It's a herb and my birds love herbs and yours should as well. Now what I do with this is I don't put it in the chopper as I find it just gets too mushy. I just cut the like the long stems off with the knife and then just kind of split it apart with my fingers. Parsley is rich in antioxidants and vitamin A, K and C. I then put it into a larger pot so that I can give it a good stir. This chop mix is just part of my bird's recipe. I do add in other ingredients as well, such as these microgreens. These are mustard greens and they do come in other kinds of microgreens, different types, but I choose to use the mustard greens as this is one of my bird's favorites. These are like a superfood. It's great in antioxidants and my birds love it very much. So I don't mix this in with the chop mix as they can get you know wet and soggy. I usually just uh, place it in their bowl when I'm ready to feed my birds and that way they can get you know a fresh microgreens instead of the soft and mushy kind. Then I place the chop mix and what I just made onto the uh, microgreens. I also add in some sprouted seeds, grains and legumes such as mustard seeds, fennel seeds, sesame seeds, rice, buckwheat, azuku beans, mung beans, canary seed, oats and more. These only take about two to three days to sprout. You can sprout all kinds of seeds, grains and legumes. I do have a recipe on my channel that you can check out and well sprouts are the healthiest food that you can feed your birds. This is another herb called Thyme, my birds love thyme. It's rich in vitamin A and vitamin C. They love to chew on the leaves and even the stem. 
These are red currants. They are rich in vitamins and full of antioxidants. The birds love them. They're small and they can even hold them in their feet if they wish to. These are lower in sugar compared to like say grapes or apples. So these are a better source of fruit and they're most likely available in the summer months. And what's summer without eating watermelon? Yes, birds can eat watermelon. Watermelon, well, is mainly water, but it is a good source of antioxidant and nutrients, and it can help with hydration. And it's sweet, it's lower in sugar than say the grapes or apple, and birds will love watermelon. I have all the birds bowls full of their food and going to feed it to them and what I do with the leftovers is I store it in the fridge and this can last me anywhere between five to seven days. I feed my larger birds while they're in their cage as they do make a mess. This is Malibu. He's a superb parrot. He really loves the sprouts the most and this is Kingsley. Kingsley is a king parrot and his favorites are the current berries. This is Synergy. He's molten at the moment. His favorite food is the sprouts. And this is Electra. She's a cynical parrot. Now it's time to go into the bird room. All the small birds are out. I usually put a bowl on top of the cage and one on the floor for the board parakeets who are always on the floor and any other birds that want to go down there to eat. And I just place various bowls throughout so they can all eat the food. This is Bubbles. Bubbles is a cockatiel. He loves the sprouts. You can see them in his beak. This is Starburst the canary and that's Pickles in the back there. She is a linoleated parakeet. And this is Glitter. Glitter is a Sierra parakeet. This is Nightshade. He is a Java Finch. He has decided to eat from the bowl that's on the floor for the borks. And here is Glitter again. Glitter really loves herbs. She likes to eat the thyme that is there. She also loves parsley. She actually eats a lot of the fresh foods. She enjoys like pretty much all of the fresh foods. This is fruit fly trying to decide what to eat from the bowl along with glitter. And this is Summer. She's a kakariki. She took the currant berry. And this is one of my rosy borks. And rosy borks love the sprouts. If you only have one or two birds or less than me, you can also freeze like the chop mix and just uh, defrost it the night before and feed it to him. You can put it in small, you know, portions in freezer bags or ice cube trays and then put it into your freezer bags. Let me know down in the comments if you are going to make this recipe and if you do, let me know if your birds enjoy it. If you like this video, you may enjoy the video on the screen and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Until next time, happy birding!